Alright, partial quotients part two. Let's uh, come up with a solution here. With one of these strategies, I'm going to use just tens. The other strategy, I'm going to use multiples of tens. Um, remember, the big idea is you want to be efficient, but you also always want to have the right answer. So, um, 336 divided by 8. So, we'll do our tens here. And we have 80. And we subtract all the way across. We'll do 10 more, which is another 80. Again, you start to notice that this is getting repetitive. Again, we'll get 10, which is 80 again. And 10 more. Again, 80. 16. 8 goes into 16 twice. And this one calculates out. We have 0 left, no remainder. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 2. Answer would be 42. Okay. And, uh, and those of you that have used partial sums, well, you could say 8 times 40 is 320. 8 times 2 is 16, so 320 plus 16 would be 336. Quick way to check your work. That's a correct answer. Now, those of you that just went ahead and did 8 would go into this at least 40 times. You might have subtracted 320 and been left with 16, which would be this problem right here. Notice it's a much more efficient strategy. Let's use that efficient strategy over on 217 divided by 9. Well, let's see. Let's start with 10. 9 times 10 is 90. Let's start, go up to 20. 9 times 20 is 180. Well, 9 times 30 is 270, so that's too much. We better go with 20 right here. So 9 times 20 is 180. And we will subtract across. Now, how many times will 9 go into 37? I know 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. Let's try 4. 9 times 4 is 36. And we are left with 1. Now, again, 1 is smaller than 9. So, this is going to be our remainder. 20 plus 4 is 24. Remainder 1. Or a more mathematically sound answer would be 24 and one ninth. Now, if you like to practice these, you can pick any number. It could be in the hundreds, could be in the thousands, and then just divide it by any number. It'd be a good way for you to practice. But if you have these two ideas down and um, you're starting to understand a more efficient way of being able to divide numbers in your head mentally, then you're well on your way to being a partial quotient master.